Hi everyone, it's Brian here again with the Materials and Molecular Analysis Center here at Colorado State University. Uh, the instrument that I'd like to talk to you about here is our small angle x-ray scattering system. So uh, we'll start with the generator over here. We have a copper rotating anode uh, that's rotating at about 4,000 RPM. Uh, we're then hitting that with a, basically a stream of electrons to generate our x-rays. Uh, we have a Bragg optic here that we're using to filter out the uh, wavelengths that we don't want. Then we have a flight tube with three pinholes, the first two pinholes of which are actually attenuating the beam. So by the time the beam leaves the second pinhole here, it's 300 micron in diameter. Uh, the two blue um, sample chambers that you see are where the work's going to be done. The uh, sample chamber closest to the source here is going to be for the uh, small angle X-ray scattering. And then we have a uh, sample chamber that's closer to the detector, which is way on the other end of the instrument. And that'll be for more wide angle or medium angle scattering experiments. So a lot of folks that use this are, you know, uh, polymer chemists. They're looking at spacing. Uh, how does the Morphology change with heating. We have a temperature stage that can go up to 350 degrees C. Uh, we also can use liquid nitrogen to cool down to liquid nitrogen temperature if those are desired for you. So again, hopefully if you come to Colorado State, you'll get a chance to check out this system depending on whose group you're joining. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming out and uh, hopefully we'll see you around here next semester.